Welcome back to Pops and Pilots. Let's play some more Crusader Kings 4? No, Crusader Kings 2. Uh, we're playing as Sultan Awa here of the Sulaid Sultanate. Uh, we're going for, uh, doing that in a monarch's journey, which you can see by this nice little uh, screen telling me that I reached uh, the rank of gold and the gods will be done shown. So we did get all the temples we need for our uh, challenge. We still need to reign for a total of 100 years and uh, we still need to convert to at least two Hindu people. Rather like to have more. Uh, we're in a war here because of course we are. Um, our main goal is to take Medina um, but we did declare um, to vassalize the prince, uh, the, the ruler that owns this whole land including Medina. Um, what's this? So we convert somebody in Medina and it's, oh no, it's my court mullah that, oh no, we converted Medina itself. Very nice. Mecca, not Medina. Mecca, Medina, you know, potato, potato. Um, so Mecca is now proper Sunni, Shiite, Shiite, not Sunni. This guy, unfortunately, is a Sunni Muslim. He still needs to be, um, Maybe, you know, maybe removing him is a good idea. Because I'm his heir. How about, I mean, this is excellent. How about we plot to get rid of you? Um, that's okay, right? <laughs> I mean, killing somebody because he's of the wrong religion seems, that seems fine. Um, yeah, we have tons of possible plot power here. Uh, I've discussed this before, but we already start with 139%. So we could already fire the plot without getting anybody else. I do think you need one backer uh, for a plot to actually happen. Um, so let's invite some people. We could just use the auto invite feature. Thing is, some people are not very good. I don't know which traits exactly lead to people being bad at plotting. I mean, he's humble and kind. I'm gonna assume that a kind person is not a problem. So join me in that plot, please, my son. Yes. Um, <laughs> maybe that's a bad idea. Everything considered, maybe we're both gonna get um, screwed over for this. I don't know how that works. Uh, if we get caught, I mean. And then Ali here, he's paranoid. I'm not sure. That might be bad. Arbitrary, I'm pretty sure I don't want. That's so much plot power from all these people. Ambitious, paranoid. Mm. So more plot power gives you a higher chance of um, firing uh, an attempt. It does not actually lead to people deceitful. How much do you like me? You do like me a lot. Let's have our court Muller join in as well. And that's going to be enough. Um, yeah, uh, at the end of last episode, we asked this guy to reconsider his um, religion, and he did, which is nice. So these guys are going to say yes in a moment. Yeah, I will join you, and he will join us. We now have 222% plot power. That should be enough to fire it pretty quickly. Um, ooh, proper office of alchemy. Uh, we need to uncover the secrets of Idris, the inter interpreter. We will need the proper tools and workspace. Unless you build a laboratory for our work, he will, our work here will fade into obscurity. Um, so he asked us to build a laboratory. Uh, we're supposed to do that in the intrigue menu, which immediately shows up here. Cost me 50 gold. I mean, that's probably something else that's going to happen. But I'm going to start this. For science! Yes. Let's make ourselves a nice laboratory. Uh, Why we keep this? Ah, yeah, there we go. Secrecy is of great importance as the experiments I will perform in my labor <laughs> laboratory may both frighten the ignorant and tantalize my fellow alchemists. To keep intruders away, laboratories are often built deep within a castle, but a more accessible building would likely be more efficient. Uh, my six will be safe deep within the walls of Ib, so put it into one of my castles. Uh, let's build an efficient and accessible office for research. Uh, plans will only be dictated by what is most efficient, but your secrets will not be as well guarded. Or, um, though isolated, your laboratory can be as big as it needs to be. I think I'm gonna go for the remote guarded compound here. Probably makes the research less efficient. What's happening there gives us a lesser chance of actually getting that done. 
I can imprison Prince Ali because he's the leader of a plot. He's part of my plot, isn't he? What's going on here? Known plots, three of them. Ali wants to kill my son. And Fatima wants to kill my kinsman here. Who does like me, right? Kinda. Don't think I like don't think I like any of these plots. And you also you've been trying to kill my son for a while. Um, I think I'm just gonna end these plots. I do like that this is now just a button here. That's awesome. Um, so decide how much money we're gonna spend. Uh, I will aim, <laughs> aim higher than any of those that have come before me. Uh, experiments and mini furnaces, basins, and other contraptions as can reasonably be fitted. And since that earlier event said that it's uh, as large as it needs to be, I'm just going to add infinite furnaces. So that's what it's saying. If the size is unlimited and the amount is just limited by the size, then uh, yeah. Okay, people are stopping to uh, plot here. Yep, yep, yep. They're all like, fine. More Jazidi. We really need to start getting rid of that. Oof. Why is this spreading so quickly? Oh, and my, I need to move my cord Mullah here. Um, I assume we want to get rid of these guys ASAP. Um, so let's try and select ties in Sazabi. Out of interest, do we get the holy side now? No, it's under my control, but it's still held by a Sunni, even though the province itself is no longer Sunni. Uh, not all pottery is suited for this kind of economical work I do. My experiments require both a porous orange pottery that can absorb components in the crucible and the dark and highly fire resistant pots in which even the strongest metal can be melted. Good quality does come at a high price, however. However, 20 gold is fine. Only the best will be good enough. I'm spending a lot of money on this, but we have money, so I'm not super concerned. The entire cast just shook, waking me from the dreamless sleep that comes after hours of preparatory laboratory work. Did I forget to properly lock the laboratory? Um, alas, a sacrifice for science. Some ingredients will be destroyed and will removed from the treasury or treasury. Or we can spend funds to improve the security and still lose some ingredients. Yeah, I'm just gonna tighten up that security still. Lost a liver. <laughs> Literally, lost. A liver from our treasury. We now have no more ingredients. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Uh, we can like hunt for more, right? That's a thing I can do. Uh, acquire ingredients. I'm gonna ask my apprentices to do that. Uh, we could hunt again. I'm good at hunting, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna keep on hunting. Worked well last time. Whatever could go wrong. Sometimes the difference uh, identifying success can be as hard as achieving it. Many metals and other substances are so alike that I, only an expert can tear them apart. To avoid mishaps, perhaps it would be best to invest in rich library of reference literature to avoid unwelcome surprises. So this is from our book writing effort, right? Uh, maybe it's just for the also for the other thing. I'm going to spend even more gold. Why not? Let's put all the money in there. Uh, okay, let's go hunting with our guy captured random person and victory am i still writing a book writing a book yeah i have that intrigue bonus locust smith did not seem to appreciate the great care that must be taken to create the kind of tools we need to work the files from my lab laboratory Perhaps in time they will learn, but so far the results have been most disappointing. I can spend even more gold on importing some tools. Sure. I'm getting nickel and dimed here. Classic. My co-conspirator, Wadi Jarrod of... Uh, this guy. Has let me know that Shaikh Mahdi of Mecca will, be, will die by poisoned wine at an upcoming banquet. Very good. A classic. I cannot not approve the plan. <laughs> My unwed daughter has been indiscreet. She has been hiding her pregnancy from me and now presents me with her child. The Prince of Persia. She's not of my lineage, right? No, because she's a son, uh, daughter of that guy. Um, heavily to deal with it quietly. Um, 
Trials of my blood. It's not, though. Infant appears at the court of the Sultan. So him, his court. Mm, and I lose prestige, and I could gain kind. Oh, I'm called Ironside? Is it me? It's called Ironside? Sultan so our Ironside. I like it. <laughs> um, or we can punish her. She dislikes us. She loses one health. We could gain cruel. I'm just gonna pay to keep it quiet. Um, I don't want to gain arbitrary. Oh, this is bad. I guess I'm gonna gain deceitful. As much as I hate it. Keep her hidden, dispose of the child, oh my. Um, we could gain trusting here. Lose intrigue, gain some diplomacy. That's really bad. Hmm. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Dispose of the child. Oh my. Okay, no, not to take the pay for it thing again. There's peace. Uh, we get to fully enforce here. This might put us at war with these guys. Um, because we become their liege. Uh, no, we did not get added to war, but we are threatening. 10% threat. So this is a bit like um, aggressive expansion in EU. So if you take a lot of land, you become threatening to other people. And the more threat you have, the more things can happen. So here at 5%, um, other realms can form defensive pacts against me. Um, but, oh, they have to do it within their religious group. So Christians can't join Muslims in a defensive pact. And then 50%, um, everybody can be in defensive pact. And then later... Um, just adds more to those defensive facts. It does not do aggressive coalitions like it does in EU. So we just got all that land, stand down our troops. There's still that crusade being planned in 61 days. How does it look? Uh, we don't look very good here, do we? They are 145% um, strength. Comparison, so they're much stronger than we are. Um, found a lot of extra backers. King of Leon and Castile and Galicia, wow. King of Poland. Um, so we're very, very underpowered here. Um, there's a chance that we still can beat them because they have to ship their troops over here and they might come in piecemeal, but that, yeah. Ooh, failure. My plot is revealed, oh no. That is bad. People are not gonna, gonna like that much. Um, I guess I'm just gonna try this. Do I keep my plot? I forget. My plots. I do. Uh, the glass in which I keep my concoctions, concoctions is brittle and breaks easily. This may be tolerable for beakers and other dispensable glass, but earlier today a giant alembic shattered into a thousand pieces after having been heated carelessly by one of my helpers. Uh, limit their use or spend more money on better glass. Sure. Uh, renewed Jihad. The House of Islam is under grave threat from the onslaught of heathens and infidels in Africa. In response, his magnificence Caliph al-Majid has declared an era of renewed Jihad is upon the world. The western regions of the Ummah must be retaken at all costs. All righteous Muslim men should prepare to join the ranks of the Mujahideen for the upcoming struggles. This signals a renewed era of Islamic expansion. So this is Crusades, but for uh, Islamists. Wow. Uh, Islamists? Muslims, what I was trying to say. This is a big country now, the fatty meat. Um, that's a bit... I mean, we've grown a bunch too. But this is no no joke. This guy here. And he's the, the leader of the religion too. But we do now own Mecca and Medina. Oh! Damascus is... Oh, we actually lost more authority. Because the um, Shia guy in Damascus is a vassal of somebody else. Somewhere up here, right? Damascus? I thought? Am I wrong? Where's Damascus? Uh, Damascus. Mosque of Damascus. Oh, almost there. Oh, it's not called Damascus, that's why. Damascus. So you're Shia? No. Are you Shia? Yeah, so he's Shia, but he's a vassal of this guy who's not Shia. Uh, it's a Sunni, and that guy's also Sunni, so yeah. 
And I don't think there's a lot of Shia around, is there? Well, there's some in Egypt. Actually, that's pretty good. Right, he's the head of our religion. So if these guys go north, then maybe we can go back to owning that. But right now, that's bad. We need to get to killing that guy. Ah, we're not known as the iron side. Yes. <laughs> Defensive pack opposing me. That's fine. One animal part. That was not particularly successful. Any... Oh, there are the measles still going around here. And consumption. I see. See, I haven't paid any attention to epidemics at all. So there are diseases that go around the world. And uh, you can see them here in the disease map mode. Slow fever. And if your characters are in the provinces where the diseases are, they have a chance to get disease. You close your gates um, to keep people out that are diseased and reduce your own chance of getting disease. But it has other disadvantages. Um, you were bad at converting people. Um, so it gets religious tension, more revolt risk. Eh. <laughs> My co-conspirator, the Wali Jared, has assembled a party of mercenaries who will ambush Shaikh Mahdi disguised as a high as high women. I'm assured he will not survive the encounter. Yes, the roads are just not safe anymore. Uh, let's see if we can get rid of him this time. I think so. And at the same time, the crusade started. Uh, Sultana of Ironside has accepted. Sultana Arbor Ironside has accepted a call to arms from Caliph Al Majid, opposing the Pope, due to having pledged to join the Crusade. Uh, I had no other choice. Crusade for Egypt. And who just died? Did we have a somebody dying sound? I'm pretty sure we did. It didn't really sound like a um, Crusade starting sound, but we did not kill him yet. If he dies to disease, that would be nice. So are we going to send troops north? I guess we kind of going to have to. Don't really want to lose a crusade. That could be very scary. Um, it's a crusade for something up here, right? It's not actually uh, for Egypt. So we wouldn't lose land, but still it would be very bad for our religion. So yeah, I'm going to raise both my vassal troops and my own troops. And we just managed to kill the guy. Under suspicious circumstances, we inherited the Shaikdom. Success! The mercenaries have ambushed the carriage of Shaik Mahdi and made short work of him. They let the driver go and he's convinced the attack was carried out by highwaymen. Oh, those nasty bandits. Yep. So we got all his land, which is apparently a lot, because we're way over domain size now. Um... Oh yes, because we also he also owned two of these um, holdings himself. Um, we don't wanna certainly don't wanna control those. So we're gonna need a stewardship person for the castle here, and maybe a religious person for the mosque. Could not sure that that's super necessary. Such court. My religion and not a ruler. Also, please be male. Because it's still that kind of time. Okay, we have nobody uh, that's any good at stewardship. Anybody who's very learned? No. Oh my. Well, search for some people outside. You can also invite people from the outside. This learned person here. The Grand Vizier of Al Akav. Theologian, cruel, stubborn, envious is not the greatest. He's just, which is nice. Mm, envious is a problem though, and he needs money to join. <laughs> this guy! <laughs> 111 Must my theologian, wrath and stubborn. You're it! Um, invite to court. I want to give you some land. And then somebody who has some stewardship, like you. But you won't join. Um. That's a thing, right? Join court. Yes. There we go. Oh, that reduces. <laughs> it's fine. This lustful guy here. Yeah, why not? Gregarious. Get in here. Invite right to court. And then we're going to give at least two places away. Now, Mecca itself is very good. I don't really want to give that away. Even if there's measles in there. Um, 
also it makes sure that somebody of my religion holds it, right? Because it's me. So we might have to give away another place. Or be over the limit for a while. Zela is a fine place. I don't really want to give it away. But it's usually not worth to be over the limit. And this is a much better place. Could give Zela to my son. Maybe that's fine. I mean, he is a bit scary, but... How many titles did they give him already? He's the Shack of Akadot and Tajura. Is that at least the same duchy? Maybe. I'm gonna give him Zila. It'll be fine. It's my son, right? Whatever could go wrong. I could take my other son. Split it around a bit. I mean, yes, there's the chance of people being all savvy stabby but... Why not? Let's grant you Zila. Um, it does mean that we're not gonna re-inherit Zila, um, necessarily. The ambition of a sultana, after a month of hard work and considerable amount of money spent, the laboratory of Ava Binzel is the envy of anyone who wishes to delve in deeper secrets of life. This office of alchemy allows sultana to perform any experiment that has so far been documented and is a testament to her great ambition in the field. We gain 30 economic technology points. Okay. And we gain state of the art laboratory giving uh, prestige and learning just flat out. We have it now. And we complete the mission and gain some esoteric knowledge. Nice. Uh, Grace invitation, you will come forth with. That's you. You are the learned person, so I'm going to grant you the mosque of Mecca. He is Shia, right? We said he's Shia. I mean, if I don't actually own the mosque, there's still risk, but yeah. Let's grant you the Mosque of Mecca. It's a very prestigious title. Don't waste it. And then there's gonna be the other guy. There he is. And... Converted a subject. Meh. Um, grant you the land title of the Wilaya of al Shofa. Whatever that is. There we go. Now we're fine on the main size again. We did raise our troops. They still have to move around. Any enemies to see yet? No. Um, my steward has secluded himself for a while. All right. Can deal with that, I guess. Arrange marriage. So the Sultan of Egypt wants to marry a random courtier of mine? Who's very good. Um, 20 stewardship. It's a nice wife. I mean, she's 30. But I get why you, want, why you would want to marry her. Hello. Um, but she's Sunni. Ugh, should I do it? Why not? Could have kept her around so we could marry, marry her to somebody else. <laughs> the Lord Mayor Giuseppe of Genoa has sent 137 troops to <laughs> fight for the crusade. <laughs> nice. Um, child lacks education focus. Who are you, my kinswoman? Oh, of that family. And female too? How about you, you learn about thrift? We don't have too many troops anymore, do we? Oh, there's a few, but that's actually not a ginormous number. I feel like we had more before. Um, festivals again. Just so much money. For very little piety. It is great news. Uh, I'm just gonna walk you north now. See, that's an army. And somebody died. And a peasant revolt. Okay, good thing I have troops around. Who just died, though? Ali died. More peasants? Oh, it's the same peasants. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, okay. You guys deal with this while I grab myself a new marshal. 20? Yeah. And he loves me? Nice. And then... 
can't lead the flank unless I remove him from his martial duties, which I don't necessarily want to do. Could usurp a duchy, but why? Well, that's actual people up there. You need to kill them stat before they can congeal, guys. I'm just gonna have to take out some of my rebels before we can help. See, you need to kill these guys. Ugh. Win that passenger ward, that's fine. But why is nobody attacking those crusaders? I don't like that at all. You have... You had more troops. No, you don't. This crusade thing might go badly for us. Uh, we're already in a bad spot. Apparently. War score wise, we're not very good. What's going on? Lost control of a bunch of places. What did you take control of? Oh, there. That's gonna be a battle, but this is a. Wait, are you attacking? You're not helping? What's going on? I don't think the AI is playing this very well. I dare say. Yeah, that's getting crushed here. And then they're running away, and then they're gonna get crushed again. I'm gonna see if I can reach to lend some support, but I'm afraid I will be too late, and I will be. Now I could try to siege down this stuff, but if I do that, I'm probably just gonna get murdered, aren't I? Try to go north, kill some guys on the way, hope not to die. Why is the AI so bad at fighting? Holy fudge. Uh, I would like to tell these guys they can attach to me, but I don't think that's actually possible. Um, there's somebody attached to me, so they can do it if they want to. They just don't. Oh, they, do they have just much better troops than we do? It's a technology thing. Gonna win this battle for our side here. Uh, how did losses go? Very fine. Prestige, piety, and all that. That's nice. I guess I'm gonna just go south. I have to deal with these small stacks. I can't go. I have a big army now, actually. Oh. My apprentice died. That's actually very sad. I mean, I guess I could make you my court chaplain. You're pretty good. And maybe my apprentice too? You want to be my apprentice? Um, is this how I do this? No, it's a minor title, right? Uh, apprentice... You. I can recruit a court physician. I'm going to ask for one and we're going to see what we get. It's probably going to be garbage, but we'll see. Sometimes you get good ones. And then childhood focus for my kinsman who is Sunni? Disgusting. Um, how about you uh, get the... Which one is it? There's one that uh, converts your faith. Yeah. Focus on assimilating Bedouin culture and the Shia faith. Do it. Be good. Maybe I should have attacked those guys up there. I was kind of afraid. Uh, Skull Spring Word of a Mystic Blind Man. Oh, that's the new... Potential new... Nah, he's not that good. Uh, I'm just gonna appoint my assistant also as a... Court Physician. It's a thing I can do, right? Yeah. There we go. So let's up a title. So if I could get the other 6,000 guys here to join me, things might actually start to be okay. I mean, this is still a lot of enemies. The AI is not actually have Oh, but they're having out from there. That might be the end of my... Oh, and there's the... Everybody congealing. When do you arrive? 
31st. Oh, you're gonna be no, you will arrive the 31st. Yeah, we're not gonna win this battle before that, but we have beaten flanks. They're all running. What happens now? The flanks are still around, but they're running. Mm, interesting. I'm gonna lose this almost certainly, but uh, okay, so they do get reinforced and then they stop running. I think if we had completely collapsed the flank, then they would not have been able to reinforce that flank. And that would have been nice. I don't know why these guys are not helping out at all. But we can't continue fighting this. It is bait. I'm just gonna... Oh, you can't run in CK, I forget. And we get another Peasant Revolt. Blasted traitors. Uh, that's 2,000 rebels. Because I'm gonna see whatever's left over of my army here. I did actually run. The rest of the guys stayed around. And they're chasing too. Um, yeah. Now, it's probably still a million enemies, which is very hard to see here. We have numbers. Looks kind of... Uh, desert. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna take this battle. Trevor's 13,000. We have a bonus from Desert on stuff, but there's more. But they have no morale. But if this battle lose, looks like we're losing, then I'm just gonna run home. Deal with my rebels. I think if I'm winning, I might also run home. Doing okay here right now. Nah, now we're getting crushed. Yeah, this flank has broken. They're running away. We have almost no people here. Let's leave. I tried. Um, I think I'm gonna have to run this way. And hope some of my troops can survive. I can't stand them down right now, but they did get away. I think if I disband them here, yeah, I still lose troops. So I'm just gonna keep running. This crusade is lost. We did a lot of work, but we can't protect our faith here. The thing is, if we hadn't joined, uh, we would still be in a bad spot, crusade-wise or um, religion-wise. Because our religion would still lose a crusade. So, yeah. Um, Pastor Wall, there's something I wanted to look at. It just happened. Right, we inherited something. Uh, the Vilaya of something here in Aksum. Oh, this... This castle thing. I'm just gonna click create new vassal. That's free. I don't have to, don't have to bother. So I still think that if the AI had been any good at defending here early on, and just jumped on the landing troops, they would have been fine. But as it stands, they're just getting murdered. And that's bad. Arrange marriage. Sultan of Egypt wants to marry another one of my courtiers. This time, not a very good one. Also Jewish. Sure. Have at her. Um, you keep going on those rebels. Uh, fatigue. Ew. Please treat my symptoms. I'm not sure that did anything. I have a common nemesis. You know of whom I speak, the despicable idiot Neophyte Gregorius. The thought of him being a member of the all respectable community, it makes me sick. Let us ruin his laboratory and steal his secrets. Uh, sure. So, we need to target Gregorius. And steal stuff from his laboratory. Or destroy it. Uh, I believe I can see this here. Yep, that's Gregorius command of the Byzantine Empire. I'm gonna... Is this not how this works? Why are these always different? It's hard to locate uh, his laboratory, Abu tells me as we enter the castle. While old Gregorius has no talent for keeping secrets, he does know how to hire proper guards. He continues telling me about the obstacle ahead. We can use a simple potion because we have an ingredient. 71% chance for success. And we lose our intestines. 
not our intestines. I distract the guards, 60%, or we just run away. I guess I'm gonna sacrifice my intestines. Ooh, it did not work. First, everything went so well. By some miracle, Abu managed to empty the little wild potion in a jug before it was brought to the guards. That was half an hour ago. The guards are showing no signs of drowsiness now. Time's running out. I whisper apologies as we leave, but Abu does not answer. Ooh. So that didn't work very well. Also, we have dangerous factions in our realm because we have uh, very little troops right now. I'm gonna seek treatment for illness again. Uh, please treat my symptoms. And I have consumption. I did uh, contract it. We gain some bonus health from the thing. And we got defeated in our siege here because our troops haven't arrived in time. But I'm on my way. Uh, I could insist on something new, but I'm gonna say do something normal. And that gives us two health and a bunch of stat bonuses. So that's good. I will probably want to want want to want I would probably want to want to not get a river crossing penalty here so we're gonna do this and then move over there I mean if these tiny armies here that are going for the um, crusade join me then I don't mind too much I don't know what this stack here is doing they're just sitting around all the time and then dying when we claim can be pressed against the mosque of Foda what I don't want to declare war on my husband, although that would be funny. I don't want to convert to Sunni, certainly. Where is Foda? What's a Foda? Why do I have a claim on it? Hmm. Who knows? Let's go get rid of these rebels and then try to keep our empire. Inherit another place that we don't want. <laughs> Gee. Mm, and we're way over time, too. I guess we're gonna have to put a cut in here, but this is not how I do this. There. I mean, putting a cut in here works differently anyway. Okay, so there's a place here that we inherited. I'm just gonna. I cannot. Create a subject here? Interesting. Oh, I can. Create a new vessel. Just a random one. Uh, so guess suggest a non-aggression pack to some random guy. Why not? Uh, and we get it. I guess that's kind of nice. Get rid of those rebels. Good. Siege this back. And then probably stand down our troops. Recover our troops. And, um, you know, what's even a, a jihad? I tried to help, I really tried, you saw it. But our allies failed us. Anyway, we're gonna have to put that cut in here, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you're already seeing, as always, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and anything you wanna say to me, the comment section is the place. Just do it. Just do it. Also, why do I still have an army here? I'm confused. Well, I have special event troops. Do I? What are you? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.